Hi everyone, it's Evangeline here at eTrailer and today we'll be taking a look at the Hollywood Racks Destination 2 Bike Platform Rack here on our 2014 Toyota Prius V. So the Hollywood Racks Destination 2 is one of my favorites when it comes to the entry level affordable super lightweight bike racks. So if you're looking for something that is portable, you can keep inside of your garage or even inside of your big cargo space in your Prius V, the Destination 2 might be a great choice for you. Now, not all bikes can fit on this, like this is not gonna be an electric bike rack, and we'll talk about those features and differences, but we're gonna focus on our Prius V here today. That way you can pick and choose and see what is the best fit for you, your different types of bikes, and your vehicle. First thing that this lacks is the tilt away feature. So some other bike racks do have that option. If you're still looking for an affordable bike rack that does tilt away, you may want to take a look at the Swagman Schnook as an option instead. So if you do want to open up your hatch, you are going to have to take off of your bike to do so. So let's take a look at the way our bike is mounted to this rack. We have a larger mountain bike here and we have three touch points. So the first two are going to be your wheel straps for your front front and your rear wheel. What's impressive with this rack compared to the other entry level racks though is going to be the frame mount. So you have this frame mount that can go up, down, left, right, and even around to accommodate those frames of different shapes and different sizes. When you want to take your bike off, you start over by the wheel straps. So this has a little lever here. You're gonna run press that lever to release the strap. And then that has a little bit of a pivot point. So you can just glide it over to the side so it doesn't get caught up in the spokes. So press the lever, release the strap, put that over underneath the bike rack. And then we're gonna go over to the frame mount. So this process can be a little tricky depending on your bike's frame. You have to figure out a way to hold on to your bike as you release the strap of the frame mount. But once you have that strap out of the way, since the mass is so short, it's a lot helpful or it's a lot easier just to lift that bike over that mass and then you are ready to go on a bike ride. And with the bike out of the way, we get to take a closer look at the rack itself. So my recommendation is please put your straps away in their receivers, even when your bike is not on there. That's, that way they're not flopping around as you drive around. So you have the front and the rear strap. You also have the option to move these back and forth depending on your wheelbase. So notice how these tilt. You can also mount them up and down the wings or the cradles of your bike rack. And with the bike off, you can see here that even with that mast up, we still have clearance between our hatch and our mast. So that way we can reach into our trunk and grab whatever we need, whether it's our waters, our helmets, our backpacks. It was kind of a bummer that we couldn't tilt the entire rack away, but it is nice to know you still have an option for cargo. Now we're still gonna lower that mast though because we need to change this bike rack into the portable position. So to lower that mast, you have this knob here. You're just gonna wanna loosen that just enough so that you can lift this lever up and out of the way. So that goes up and then that knob tightens back down there. And then we're gonna just bring this over. So this is gonna be a very compact and portable bike rack, which means it doesn't add much length to the back of the Prius V. But let's see exactly how much. I'm measuring from my bumper to the end of the rack, which is by the nice white reflectors, and that sits at 25 and a half inches. So whenever you're backing into your garage or trying to park into a really tight spot, don't forget that you now have two bikes and a bike rack behind you. Now, what is going to be an issue with the Prius V is ground clearance. That's because it does sit kind of close to the ground, not the lowest, but still something to keep an eye out for. So measuring for ground clearance at the end of the rack to the ground, it sits at 21 inches. Compare that to where the bottom lip of my hitch receiver to the ground is, and that sits at 11 inches. So you do see how this has a shank rise and your bike sit higher up off the ground. Helpful when you have to go up those steep inclines like those driveways or those hills. Now what if you're not planning on going out for a bike ride just yet, but you also don't want to take your bike rack off even though it is really lightweight. What you can do is you can fold this up into the portable position. So you're going to have a clip at the end. 
then you're going to have this bolt. So this bolt has this knob, which I like because it's threaded for extra security. Then you're just going to lift this up and then pop that bolt right back in the hole you just took it out of. And don't forget this movement because this threads down and secures the bike rack. And with that knob tightened down, don't forget to put the clip back in to secure it. And let's take some measurements again. So closest point is going to be pretty far away with our bike rack here. And that will be from the bumper to the frame mounts, four and a half inches of clearance. Now the length this now adds to the back of our Prius V bumper to hinge is going to be 13 inches. So pretty good difference compared to when this is folded down. You'll want it in this position when you're just driving around town and you don't want to take up any extra space. But what is it like living with a bike rack behind you all the time? Well, notice that if I try to open up my door here, I do make contact with the straps on the bike rack itself and I can't fully open up the hatch. So that is going to be a bummer because you'd lose that cargo access. If that's going to be a big issue for you, just go ahead and drive around with it folded down since it doesn't take up that much room anyways. Now, with it folded up like this, you're gonna have full visibility out of your rear window. Your tail lights are gonna be visible as well. Your license plate sits above the bike rack itself, as does your backup camera. So what's gonna happen is you're gonna kind of possibly see the bike rack behind you in your view, but you'll also see all the cars behind you, keeping you safe and legal on the road. Now this does have an inch and a quarter shank with an included two inch hitch adapter. And that's because we have a two inch hitch on the Prius V, which I highly recommend investing in instead of getting the inch and a quarter version. So that just pops right in. You're gonna have an anti-rattle bolt and a lock. Now that anti-rattle bolt uses a three quarter inch socket or wrench. We have those here at E-Trailer if you wanna add on to keep with your bike rack. So with that tightened down, let's do a little bit of a shake test. As I shake this back and forth and side to side, <laughs> there really isn't much movement. If you do see a little bit of movement, just double check that this knob here is tightened down and that way your bikes have a smoother ride overall. But for a compact, affordable, and easy to use bike rack, this was a look at the Hollywood Racks Destination 2 bike platform rack on our 2014 Toyota Prius V.